All right, Dinwiddie and I got a new spot. How cool. So, I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of a downed house back in here. A couple apple trees. Hopefully I'm pointing to them. I can hardly see. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to suit up and see what we can get. Now that's the first good find I got here. It's actually real quiet. But that's pretty much a whole harmonica. Harmonica is just missing one scale. But all the reeds are in there. Crazy. You'll never find them like that. There's my nemesis, the cones boss. Here's a little suspender clip. Or part of a suspender, I guess. Just got a gear off a watch I didn't show you. Well, <laughs> they didn't get everything. Look at that beauty. Man. Man, oh man. Yeah. That's amazing. What is it? Oh, I was thinking it was an old buckle, but now I'm starting to wonder what it is. Or maybe it is a buckle. Maybe it's just, just kind of weird. Kind of weird design, but... Holy cow, is that thing beautiful. Yeah. Just got to keep at it, guys. Yeah, now they have it cleaned up. We're thinking it's more of a brooch or a pin or something. There's kind of like a... You can see where the pin used to connect right there. I have no idea how that worked. I'll have to ask my wife. She's a lot smarter about this stuff than I am. Hell, I don't even have any hair. Well, I just dug a bullet or a shell and then right next to it was this little suspender clip. It sounded exactly the same. How cool. It's kind of an interesting one. I actually don't think I have this one yet. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a nickel suspender button. So I think this is going to be one of those sash clips or sash buckles. Let's see if I can get this sucker cleaned up for you guys. Yeah, that's pretty. So I'm in just kind of like a button war and find all the spot and just or everything in this one spot. Thinking maybe this is where the clothesline was or something. Isn't that neat? So I'm like, oh, it's a hook. It's not a hook. It's a freaking goose head. Or a swan or something. A metal goose head. Well, I can cross that one off the bucket list <laughs> look at this guy he pushed me out of my spot and now he's trying to tell me i missed stuff as he encroached right you into me and shoved me out of here if you had not left the spot i wouldn't be over here <laughs> i don't like detecting an inch from somebody <laughs> Well, here's a little closer view of what we've been working. It's just a pile of trash right now. Well, we got a cool well. So we're thinking there should be a home site around here somewhere. Let's find it. So it's not clear where the house was from the well. So we've just been running around and all of a sudden we found an iron spot with lots of melted things. So I think it burned down. But look at that. The kid did it. Shirley President. <laughs> okay, today we're in search of some lost home sites. Uh, Dinwiddie found them on the aerial. Historic aerial. They're no longer here. Uh, there is an apple tree and a 
trough nearby. I've only been here a couple minutes. Dinwiddie's going to be late. But I have a wheat penny here. So, oh my gosh, maybe I have found the site. Uh, let me see if I can get a date. Okay, so we don't know how old they were. They were... Our historical maps don't go back very far. Only to, like, 1950. This is a 49. So... Anyways, the buildings were here in the 50s. Don't know how old they were. Hopefully we can get some clues to find out. There's a little two-hole button. Man, I really thought that was going to be a dime. Well, I just found a real nice button. It's got some sort of pattern on there, but I just can't make out anything. I don't... It just doesn't look like anything to me. But look, it's got back marks and a shank and everything. Gold gilt. I mean, I'm feeling like it's got to be some sort of military button or ceremonial button of some kind. I don't know. Maybe it's even like Chinese or something. Crazy. Hopefully one of you guys know what it is. All right, I figured out what this button is. Turns out it's the Grand Army of the Republic button, which was a fraternal organization comprised of veterans of the Civil War on the Union side. Pretty cool, man. What a bad little find.